This is the story of a dream that began 35 years ago and appears ready to finally come true. I'm Jerry Brown, author of the blog brownongreen.net. The dream belongs to this man, Bill Lostetter, founder and chief operating officer of SunTrack Solar of Golden, Colorado. By now, you've probably read the profile of SunTrack on my blog. If not, I hope you'll check it out. Lowsetter's company produces a solar panel that uses a series of curved mirrors to track and concentrate sunlight to produce super hot water for commercial and industrial use. Water in the 140 to 250 degree range. Hot water in the average home reaches about 120 degrees. The SunTrack panel is designed for companies that need a year-round supply of very hot water. Places like hospitals and hotels, for example, that need large quantities of hot water for their laundries or restaurants and other food preparation and processing operations that need very hot water for preparing food and sanitizing their equipment. The challenge isn't using sunlight to produce hot water. That's relatively easy. The challenge is turning that into a profitable business. And that's the dream that appears to be coming true. Actually, it started during uh, 1975 when solar was becoming uh, popular and people were putting solar thermal panels on the roofs. The story on my blog profiles SunTrack and provides some history of Lowstutter's journey toward achieving his dream. This video shows what the SunTrack panels look like and how they're built. Personally, I find them elegant in their simplicity. So let's begin our tour. This long roll of aluminum will be cut into carefully measured sheets to become the reflectors that turn sunlight into heat. The assembly starts with two curved rigid pieces of aluminum that serve as the frame for the reflectors. The aluminum sheet is measured and cut, placed into the frame pieces, and bent to form a parabola. The ends are screwed into place. Brackets are added to the back to hold the two sides together. And this is what the finished parabola looks like. Six of the parabola-shaped reflectors are then mounted onto a manifold, which consists of two copper pipes running horizontally to form the top and bottom of the solar panel and six smaller copper tubes that run vertically to connect the two pipes. Once they're attached, they're tested to make sure they'll move back and forth because they have to track to follow the sun as it travels across the sky from east to west. Yes, I'm building the box for the hot water solar panel. And um, on average, it probably takes about an hour and a half to build. Basically, we take this manifold and parabola assembly and mm -hmm. as soon as I'm finished with the box over here we'll just throw it right over it fits right in there as long as the box is nice and square and uh, once we're done we'll put the glass on and we'll swing it right over here this is a finished product right here and uh, we can only stack these five high uh, one of the advantages of our panel is that it's covered with the glass plate and the glass is five millimeters thick uh, 3 16 thick glass it's tempered plate glass low iron so it has very high transmittance. And the advantage is, is that it protects all of the components that are inside. All the moving components, the bushings, the bearings, the motor assembly, the uh, reflective material itself, and the sensors are all protected under the glass so that they don't have the environmental wear that exposed components do. Um, the other thing is that because it's a nice sheet of glass, any snow or ice uh, sloughs off it very, very quickly. There are a couple pieces that we haven't talked about yet. One is this electric motor. This is what moves the reflectors to track the sun. Since we have electronics and we have a motor, what we wanted to do was to make sure that the long-term reliability of the motor assembly uh, was there and we didn't have any short-term infant mortality failures uh, for it. And so each one of the motor assemblies is burned in for 24 hours. And then after it passes, then we put the QC approval sticker on it. It's initialed and dated. And then there's this 
little device here, this is what tells the motor when to run. And so when the sun is shining um, equally on each of those sensors, they both have the same output that the computer looks at. So it says they're balanced and I don't need to move the motor. When the sun moves, what happens is that the sun will shine more on one side than the other side and the computer will turn on the motor to move it so that it tracks the sun. It will increment about every 10 seconds and it only and is on for about a tenth of a second. So it takes... So it runs how long in a day? It runs two minutes a day. I think so that's it, amazing. It takes one minute to move it all the way from the east to the west. Mm -hmm. And then after it gets all the way to the west, it will take two minutes for it to return it to the, one minute to return it to the east. So it's only operating two minutes a day. And so it's tracking the sun over six hours from the east to the west. That's really about all there is to it. Here's a finished panel being used for test purposes. And here's a picture of identifying the various elements to the panel. The motor goes at the bottom, it has its own enclosure so it can be removed easily if it fails. That's pretty much it. We're done with the tour. I hope you can understand why I think these panels are very elegant in their simplicity.